I actually am coming to you today freshly off of an all-nighter. <laughs> Dr. Kazmikia Corbett's positive spirit keeps her going in the face of uncertainty. In the onset of 2021, I don't feel like uh, anything has calmed at all. Um, despite there being um, approved uh, vaccines available now, I still feel like there's so much work to do. She is a star in the world of viral immunology at only 35 years old. As a research fellow at the National Institutes of Health, she helped lead the charge in developing the Moderna vaccine through her work with spike proteins. My god kids actually gave me crochet viruses. After hours, the social media savvy PhD spreads the word about the importance of getting the vaccine and reading comments from budding young scientists. If there is any task that I would ever be ready to take on, it would certainly be the one to ensure that for generations we have scientists that look like me who are um, going to do things that are better than what I ever could have imagined to do myself. Pfizer's Dr. Katherine Jansen was motivated to push forward by the sight of mobile morgues outside New York City hospitals. I mean, we were on the siege. It was just devastation all around. It just was, it gave you chills. The 63-year-old veteran scientist was inspired to go into medicine because she herself was sick as a child. She has since helped develop life-saving vaccines against cervical cancer, meningitis, and pneumonia, and now COVID-19, leading a team of 700 researchers. I sometimes joke, I didn't get out of my chair, uh, you know, for, for all day, um, all week. Essentially, um, being almost like a symphony conductor, you know, making sure that all the pieces that needed to come together came together at the same time to uh, to ultimately develop this uh, this vaccine. It was pretty clear, uh, you know, failure was not an option. With a sense of urgency and accuracy, Dr. Lisa Jackson led the world's first clinical trials for Moderna and Johnson and Johnson as the pandemic began to rage. We administered yeah, the first COVID-19 vaccination in the world on March 16th. I think everyone just uh, realized the urgency and the importance and dropped everything else in our lives to do this. And, you know, within a year, we had a vaccine going into arms. So that's pretty, pretty incredible pace. The results were better than expected. Incredible. Yeah, we wouldn't have hoped for 95 percent, never. But her work as senior investigator at Kaiser Permanente Washington Health Research Institute is far from over, with variants popping up all over the world. No let up in 2021, maybe even intensified if that's possible. <laughs>